TRT World's Obeid Ahito is in the Syrian city of Ras Al Ain, which Turkey has freed from the control of the YPG terror group. He joins us now live. There he is. Hi, Obeda. Now, we're hearing Turkish flags have actually gone up uh, on the border right near where you are. Tell us what you've been seeing. Well, we've been here in this city for about two hours now, and we visited the municipal building that the YPG terror group was using as a headquarters, and we saw the Free Syrian National Army and the Turkish military uh, drop a, a Syrian revolution flag and a Turkish flag on that municipal building. We also took a tour of the city center and went into some residential neighborhoods. We were able to speak to some of the civilians that have remained here in this city. Uh, they are still uh, the Turkish military military, that is, along with the Syrian National Army, are still trying to clear the city from some of the bombs left behind by the YPG. Even while we were here, there was one of those IEDs that exploded. It shook the buildings that we were around and made a very loud, explosive sound. Uh, the civilians here are definitely worried uh, that this situation could uh, go on for some time. There are still some pockets of YPG terrorists that can attack this part of North Northeast Syria and the Turkish military and the Syrian National Army are working to clear all of these pockets that pose a threat to the civilians and to Turkey. The Turkish military sources tell us that their operation outside of the zone is going to end and that any operation that they will go forward with will only happen in the areas between Tel Abyad and Ras Al Ain. It's too soon to say when Syrian refugees living in Turkey might be able to come back here. However, the Turkish, the Turkish army and the Syrian National Army are working hard to secure the city so that can happen. Okay. Obeda Hito, we will leave it there for now. Thank you for that from Ras Al Ain.